viewers uh, today in this video we will be discussing regarding the simplified memory bound a star algorithm so this is an advancement over the a star as well as the ida star algorithm that is the iterative deepening a star algorithm so what happens or what happened in the ida star algorithm was uh, that the memory problem or the memory management problem was the major constraint in the ida star algorithm so to overcome this problem we have come up with the simplified memory bound a star algorithm which stores all the available nodes in the memory at the lowest cost means it will provide an optimal solution for all the nodes which are in the tree so here are some of the properties of the sma star algorithm i'll not discuss regarding the algorithm of this because it remains same like the a star algorithm and the ida star algorithm so let's have a look regarding the properties of sma star algorithm first of all it says that it utilizes all the allocated memory means whatever memory are allocated to solve this sma star it will utilize all of them very efficiently so there is no memory leakage or there is no problem or no concern of uh, spacing or running out of the memory next is it avoids the repeated states SMSR algorithm identifies the states uniquely means if two states are come up with repeated action then it will avoid those kind of processing and it will store unique nodes in the tree and hence it will compress all the nodes in an optimized way next it says that it is complete if the available memory is sufficient enough to store the shallowest path solution means if there is a tree like here you see and if you can see here i have marked with red boxes these red boxes denote the goal state so the shallowest path can be this one or either this one although there are many other paths but these are deep in as compared to this so now a star or the sma star algorithm is complete if the available memory is sufficient enough to store the shallowest path solution means if one part of the tree is stored in the sma star then it can easily store the another part next is it is optimal sma star as compared to a star is very optimal then when enough memory is available for search then it is optimally efficient <coughs> this remains same like the third point means if we have got a tree and if that tree needs to be searched entirely then sma star is very efficient in order to solve those search tree next is uh, we will see a problem based on uh, sma star algorithm so this is the tree that we have in sma star algorithm now this tree contains these nodes named as a b g c d e f j k and h i Uh, so uh, you can see these uh, links to these nodes contain some values so these values are nothing but the f cost that is from one node to another node how much cost it will take to traverse it is that cost next uh, each of these nodes has its own values or the function uh, in detail that is the like if this b node has a value 5 then it will add this cost to this and sum up with 215 similarly if g node has a value of 5 then it will sum up with this f cost and add it to 13 so this tree would be given and they will mention regarding the memory size like in a particular memory like in sma star this memory size is a uh, developer designed so in this it can store only three nodes so this problem we are going to see so in this problem there is a memory constraint that it will store only three nodes not more than that if in case one more uh, node is incorporated into the uh, tree then we will drop down it and will maintain the consistency and will not violate this rule so let us see a problem on how to solve this sma star algorithm
So first we'll start with the root node. That is, we have this node A. We'll write A here, and we will also write its value that is twelve. Next, this is the first part. Next part is that we will add the left subtree or the left child of the root node. As you can see, the left child is B, which has a cost of fifteen. So we will add it to the tree. This cost remains as twelve, and we will follow this direction. And B is added to this. and here it is 15 so next we will compare its right children and we will see which value is minimal and we will update it to the root node since after the incorporation of 15 the value of a is not yet updated and hence so we will incorporate the right child node that is g so a's value is 12 b here will be 15 and g would be 13 next now it cannot incorporate or there is no more room available for any new node so ultimately we have to remove one and we will remove this node because out of these two nodes we will select the lowest f cost path as you can see the lowest f cost path is 13 and hence so we will update this a to 13 means initially the root node has got a value of 12 now we will update it to 13 and next in next step we will forget this b node and we will regenerate in further steps if there is a need of this node in case if this g node is not found to be promising so in next step we will forget this b node so for that this is the a node and we will write its value that is 13 and its forgotten node that is value of b so we will not write b node as it is we will write the value of 15 that is its value so that we can remember that it was the b node which was forgotten and so we will write it 15 and we will write its g node that is the lowest f cost next there is room for one more node and so as you can see here G is the root node for this subtree, and we will explore its child node that is H. So we will follow that direction, and we will add a H node here. And as you can see, its value is eighteen. Now, from this diagram, you can see that I is the goal node, and since H is not the goal node, and since there is no more room available for any further nodes in the tree. we will remove this or we can say we will drop down h node and will assign infinity to this node infinity why because we it makes it easier to compare in a memory constraint problem so we do so by dropping down one node and assigning it to infinity next step is that since we have drop down the h node we have left is the i node so this is one particular level that is available <coughs> in sma star and this is the second level that is available so next is we will add the right subtree children of this g node so here it would be a that is now we will update it to 15 we will after every increment we will add a 1 to this value of a so that it gets updated it is from here it will be 1 and from here it will be 1 since we are dropping down g node and so 
this 15 remains as it is and this g goes here and uh, i node is there which has 24 and since g has got a value of 24 24 would be replicated and it's infinity that is we have forgotten this node that is h would be appended here now as you can see in the diagram i is the goal node but at this level you can see that there is one more node towards the branch b that is the d node which has even more lesser cost as compared to the i node so we will eliminate this and since the motto of sms star is to store the node which has the lowest s cost so hence we will remove this i node as well and uh, we will regenerate the value of b which we had forgotten earlier so we will write it as a as 15 we will regenerate this b node and g is kept as it is so 24 and here it will be 15 next now we will not explore this g node because it was not found as promising enough to store or enough to process the sms star and so now we will explore the b node so for that we will start exploring now since uh, this has taken a new form we will remove this unforgotten node and we will add it to b but this value of 15 remains updated after every increment now uh, this has g node and so uh, this g node has a value of I'm sorry uh, this this is towards the right this is towards the left so b has got a value of <coughs> 15 and further to it that is the left child of b node that is c which has got a value of 25 now we can see that this memory is full abc node is there we can't incorporate any further nodes or there is no room for one more node to get added since that is a memory constraint of three nodes hence we shall not violate this rule and we will drop down this c node and we will assign an infinity to this node and we will do the further processing that is we have one more child node that is to the right that is the d node so the final step would be assigning of and uh, one more thing here a would be 24 so we have forgotten this g node and we have assigned it to a so this forgotten node will be given to a and its value would be 15 so 24 in bracket and its actual value that is 15 next is the d node since we have reached the final destination so this is a we have 24 in bracket we will not write the value of this that i will say why is it so next is the b node that is infinity it has a forgotten node and its final node that is the d node so d is 20 now since we have reached the goal node we will replicate or inherit this value of d to b as well as to a so we will write it to b and also write it to a so this will demonstrate that we have reached the goal node with the lowest f cost and sms star is complete and also it is optimal in storing this left subtree and although you can see this is the uh, shallowest path that is available from the entire tree which is also having the lowest f cost so this is the sms star algorithm in detail 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.